Hello and welcome to episode seven of the character the Rune Quest in Glorantha character app. This episode will actually be talking about how to create background material. Um, and so one of the things that you'll notice for all characters in Rune Quest, you have they have a homeland, they have an occupation, and they have a cult. So these things have been set up in the game system or in the app as backgrounds. So basically, if you click on backgrounds up here, you'll be able to look at homelands, which has all of the homelands that have been created, both by myself and by other people. From within the homelands, you can go in and have a look and say, OK, so what is Lunar Tarsh? Lunar Tarsh, basically, here you've got a bit of a description, an image, the stats for people from that homeland, the skills that they gain from being from the homeland, their passions, and the skill choices. And you have the same thing for any of the other homelands. This follows pretty much the same format for occupations. Again, you have all of the different applications or occupations, uh, the skills, the weapons, combat skills, standard of living, income, all of that. And for cults as well. So if we look at Bester Gore, you have all the different things that show up in a cult. Now, if you go into add content, you can go to add a new homeland, a new occupation, or a new cult. And then you basically go through and fill in the form. So I'm not going to go through these in detail. It's, uh, it's more for folks who are advanced and kind of really want to dig into it. They should be fairly self-explanatory if you understand how um, the cults, occupations, and homelands work in Glorantha. Uh, if you do, you can go through, add in the, the right bonuses, and, and you'll be fine. So these, though, um, are then used by the app when anyone else is trying to create a character. So one of the things that uh, we can look at here, I believe somebody else created someone here, Yelorna. So I created uh, a bunch of these other ones. Yelorna was made by someone else, a fire sky death goddess, I'm guessing. Here we have all the associated cults, the skills, so they did a great job here. They've got the right passions in place. But this means that any time anyone's making a character, the cults are pulled directly from the cults that are built into the game system. Which means that as people add new cults, new backgrounds, uh, or new homelands, and new occupations, they become available for anyone else to use when they create a character. So again, down at the bottom here, or sorry, cult, um, we've got... Oh, come on. We've got Yelorna right there. So this again makes it very easy for one person to do a bit of work to create some valuable content and then for other folks to use it, which, uh, which I think is one of the really important things about uh, an app like this. So that is talking about backgrounds um, in the game and we will leave it at that. I think I'm going to do one more video and that will cover non-player characters and then we will be done. Thank you very much and take care.